What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Now is the best time to get into 3D printing because it has never been easier to create amazing projects that you can use for anything, whether that's for prototyping, creating unique GIFs, or useful tools. With 3D printing, you can explore your creativity and make just about anything you can dream of. Today, we're gonna be going over why now is the best time to get into 3D printing and what you can expect before you make any significant decision. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So years ago, 3D printing was expensive, difficult, and incredibly time consuming, which are huge barriers for anyone who's a beginner level wanting to get interested in the hobby. I remember thinking 3D printing has a long way to go. For the most part, printers were huge cumbersome projects to set up, taking roughly three to four hours, finding all the different grooves. It almost felt like you were building a car or a computer from scratch. And then to make matters worse, there was less of a community out there. So most people were designing things in Fusion or AutoCAD and they were just learning along the way what works and what doesn't work. They would have already spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars if not thousands just to get something looking pretty decent ranging from their printer to the filament and all the repairs and the biggest turnoff for me was just how long things took to print. So most of the really awesome cosplayers that I saw were creating things like Iron Man suits would often tell you that one helmet could take roughly three days to print and yes I'm talking about having a machine on for three days non-stop just printing and if any little hiccup happened at any point during that time the entire print was completely useless well most recently in 2023 a lot of huge shifts have happened in the 3d printing community making a lot of the big headaches and issues almost non-existent so first up let's talk about the cost years ago printers were easily well over 500 to a thousand plus dollars and nowadays you can actually get an ender 3 pro for about about $100 with a discount, without a discount, maybe even $200 or aftermarket $150, which I think most people can agree is pretty dang good for having a 3D printer or a machine that can actually create something in 3D. Another huge advancement is cheaper filaments. So filaments now can cost only about $20 per kilogram. And when you think about how many prints can be made with a kilogram, it's pretty mind blowing. For example, this organizer was printed with just just about 60 to 100 grams. So that puts the total cost of this to less than $3 or so. Now, for most beginners, I do recommend you make an important decision as to whether or not how much time and headache you wanna put into 3D printing. If you're someone who loves to tinker around with stuff, someone who likes to build their own computers, then you're probably gonna enjoy building a 3D printer and figuring out how it works. And that'll let you spend significantly less money. I got this Ender 3 Pro for $100 from Micro Center. I had a bunch of fun setting it up. It took me two and a half hours to build it, roughly an hour or two hours to get my first print out. The first thing I ever printed on it was this cable organizer, and I thought the results looked pretty great without having to do too much tinkering. Now, after getting my feet wet a little bit, I thought it was going to be even more fun to mess around with the motherboard, install something called a BL touch or a probing sensor, and really getting into the weaves of coding and messing with configuration files and installing a different operating system and running a Linux-based machine to cloud print and all of these super extra stuff, which ended up taking me weeks to mess around with. But I can understand if someone does not like doing any of this stuff at all, it's just gonna be a huge headache. And I would say, don't even worry about it. Just shell out some extra money so you don't have to do any of that stuff at all. Now, the most recent printer that I've gotten was a Bamboo Lab P1P. I saw a lot of awesome reviews from different YouTubers who've gotten it. And at first I was a little bit skeptical because it's a printer that costs costs about $699 or $700 and it boasts some insane specs. Not only is it pretty much an all-in-one printer to where you don't really have to assemble anything so rather than taking three to four hours building an Ender 3 you can actually pull it out the box it takes you 15 minutes to just take off all the little foam screw in a little back plate and you're pretty much done. It also boasts some really awesome technology by having its own slicer app for the desktop an app for your phone all of the amazing features that make it 
to where you don't really have to think about printing as much as just what you're gonna print next, such as auto leveling, direct drive, a whole bunch more awesome features. The main selling point of this printer though is just how fast it can print. Huge, huge benefit there. So if you're getting into 3D printing, have a little bit more money to spend, and you don't wanna worry about a lot of the headaches involved with 3D printing, then I would highly recommend you just go ahead, spend a little more money and get the Bamboo Lab P1P. Another huge barrier for entry was the effort. Nowadays, a lot of those headaches have also been alleviated. So there are plenty of models online that you can actually download, import into your software and already print without you having to tinker around with too many settings at all. Take for example, this organizer or some of these other 3D prints that I've gotten. They're all thanks to the amazing community of 3D artists making awesome designs and sharing it out to the community. So you can find designs on websites like Thingiverse or Printables. And this is honestly just the tip of the iceberg because there is so, so much out there. Another huge shift in 2023 are the slicers, which is the program that translates that 3D model into something that your 3D printer can actually follow and use. And a lot of the slicers have gotten super, super good. I'm talking about ones like Kira, Bamboo Labs. So these were models that I made and I was able to import it and it would accurately slice out how this model was gonna be built. I could change certain features of it, such as the resolution. I could add in supports, tinker around with the strength or quality settings of it. And I was able to get some very awesome looking prints out of it. It's been so much fun and easy to use slicers nowadays that most of the time I'm having to spend less time trying to figure out whatever language or settings to change. And instead, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna be printing next. I think 2023 is gonna be one of the biggest years for 3D printing. And I'm excited to see more 3D artists jumping into the community and making some of the things that they've thought of before in 3D software an actual reality. If this sounds interesting to you, check out those links down below and see a little bit more as the recommendations that I would give to beginners. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit like. It does a tremendous amount for the channel. Also, if this is your first time on the channel, you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.